Hey everybody, Mr. Cameron here to show you a little dribbling and trapping activity. Um, for this activity, you're going to need a little bit of equipment. You're going to need one ball. I'm going to use a soccer ball, um, and you're welcome to use a soccer ball. It probably works better with a soccer ball outside. If you're doing this activity inside, you can use a sock ball or another smaller, softer ball um, that works a little bit better indoors. And then you're going to need two flat pieces of equipment. I'm using poly spots. I have some of those available here in the gym. I have one right here, and then you might not be able to see it, but I also have one way back here, and they're probably 10 to 12 feet apart from each other. If you don't have poly spots, you can use paper plates, you can use pieces of paper, something flat that will stay in one spot, okay? Now, how this activity works is you're going to start with your soccer ball on top of one of those flat pieces of equipment. So my ball is right here on top of this poly spot. The other poly spot, as I mentioned to you, is about 10 or 12 feet away. So you want it a decent enough space, but you don't want it like way across your yard or anything like that. You want it to be close so you can go back and forth as many times as you can. All right? The next thing you're going to do is you're going to set a timer. You can do this activity for one minute, or if you are feeling up to it, you can even set the timer for two minutes. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to see how many times you can dribble your ball and trap it on top of the other flat piece of equipment or the other poly spot, all right? Each time that I dribble my ball across and trap it right on top of that spot, I'm going to count that as a point, and you're just going to see how many points you can get, okay? So, if I were getting ready to start this activity, I would have a timer set for either one minute or two minutes, and then I would say, I mark, get set, go, and I would start dribbling. Remember, when you're dribbling, you're tapping it with the inside or outside parts of your feet, keeping it close to your body. You can go fast, but make sure that ball stays close to your feet, close to your body, all right? So here I go. I'm gonna start dribbling across. When I get over here, my goal is to trap your ball, all right? Remember, trapping is stopping the ball with your feet. And there's a couple of different ways you can do it. You can put your ball or your foot on top of the ball to make it stop. You can kind of put your foot on the side of the ball, but the ball has to come to a complete stop, no rolling, on that poly spot or on that paper plate, whatever it is you have, all right? Once it is completely stopped, that's one point, and now you can start dribbling back. So, I got one. Now, I would dribble my ball back. When I get close, I'm going to trap it on top. That's two. Turn around quickly. Three. Four, and you would go back and forth as many times as you can, all right? This is a game you can do by yourself. Do it a few different times. See how many points you can get. See what your high score is. You can adjust how far apart the two poly spots or two paper plates are. So you can move them closer so you can go back and forth quicker. You can do it further away so you can build more speed. Um, you could also do it against somebody. So you go first and then somebody else goes with the same amount of time and see whose score is higher, okay? So just a fun, quick activity that you can do inside or outside, working on your dribbling skills and your trapping skills. All right, have fun, see you soon.